Right now, there isn't a single OLED monitor on the market that can display text correctly. With WOLED, you get weird shadowing, and with QD OLED, you get red and green fringing as if you just got hit in the head with a lead pipe. However, one manufacturer might be changing that very soon. Before that, this CES coverage is brought to you by MSI and their new QD OLED monitors, bringing excellent speed, clarity, and colors, and an affordable price. And NVIDIA, who flew me out to see their new RTX 50 series cards, revolutionizing graphics via new features and higher performance than ever before. All right, so text, it's a mess. But this is where TCL's new inkjet printed OLEDs come in. Inkjet printing differs from regular OLEDs as it uses a different maskless process to create the OLEDs, which in theory allegedly can lead to less waste of materials and higher yields, allowing for lower prices eh? in theory. And TCL has been working on this tech for many years, but based on this year's specs, it looks like they may have finally hit a breakthrough. And next year, I was told by a TCL rep, it would be much better again. But what TCL showed off this year is already impressive as they have a 27 inch 4K 120 Hertz true RGB as in red, green, blue subpixels in a straight line for the highest clarity possible with a glossy finish and huge improvements to brightness. In previous years, if I recall correctly, most panels like this had a full screen brightness of just 150 nits, but this year TCL has bumped it up to 250 nits full screen apparently and 600 nits peak, which funnily enough may actually already be on par or better than QD OLED monitor brightness as their peak 1000 modes are severely limited in brightness. If TCL is able to improve the brightness significantly again, as I was told, we may be looking at closer to 300 nits full screen and maybe 800 or even 1000 nits peak by next year, which would likely be enough for TCL to finally start shipping these displays as long as they are satisfied with its resilience to burn in. As I was told, they're still working on it. That said, these displays have been playing the same content nonstop all CES and with no obvious signs to my eyes. It seems that work has been going a long way and at this point, TCL might very well be close to mass production based on the quality I observed. And I gotta say, while looking at these displays, it's clear to me that inkjet printing does look very, very good in terms of the color, the sharpness, and now even the brightness, overall giving a very satisfying image in one that is noticeably clear, at least in my opinion, as someone who has maybe slightly better than above average vision when compared to QD OLED or W OLED, which always look just barely out of focus to me, but it is something that you get used to pretty quickly, and those displays are still great. This is just that little step above that PC gamers have been dying to get their hands on. And with the cheaper production, competitive brightness, and superior clarity, inkjet printing got me acting unwise, and I'm looking forward to hearing more about it in 2025, where according to flatpanelshd.com, TCL may be launching next-gen inkjet OLED TVs and monitors, with the brightest options apparently hitting 300 nits full screen and 2000 nits peak. And even more impressively, they're targeting over 90% REC 2020 coverage, which would make these some of the most impressive displays ever made in terms of their color performance, outperforming even QD OLED. But until then, we still have a lot of really great W OLED, QD OLED, and mini LED displays I saw this year at CES 2025 that will be launching sooner. So for that and to everything else display related, make sure to get subscribed here on the display guy. Whether you're looking to connect a new console, gaming PC, or just need a fast and reliable HDMI cable to connect over long distances, Rupro has you covered with their certified 8K HDMI 2.1 fiber optic cable available in sizes of up to 50 feet and can deliver a perfect full 48 gigabits per second connection over distances other cables could only dream of reaching. And with 48 gigabits per second of bandwidth, it can easily drive 8K 60 FPS or 4K 144 FPS 10-bit HDR video through its ultra-thin flexible durable housing and it even supports ER. So if you're in the market for a cable that can drive a beautiful new TV or monitor, be sure to check out RuPro on Amazon today.